Tuba Trips came. Got it in my pocket. 24 hours. I've got less than 24 hours if I want to find Sean Mars still alive. Mad Jack is suspected of stealing the car I'm looking for. Might be worth asking him a few questions. <sighs> Feeling sick. Got the sweats. Hands are shaking. Hope this works out all right. Got them rain. Soaking wet. Mad Jack, a.k.a. Jackson Nelly. This guy's got a criminal record of lying my arm. Better be careful. This is one fucked up sort of place. I'll question Neville and get the hell out of here. The scrapyard. As good a place as any to tinker the stolen cars. Jeez, won't this rain ever let up? I won't be coming here on vacation. That's for goddamn sure. Better have a word with the guy on the bulldozer. Blake wasn't in the office when I left. Don't think I'm gonna miss him. Hey, Quacker! What you doing in there? Norman and Jaden, FBI. Can we talk for a minute? Yeah. I'm looking for the owner of a blue Chevrolet Malibu 83. I don't give a damn how the car got here, or whether you stole it or not. I just want to know who bought it from me. Sorry, man. Don't ring a bell. I got a real bad memory of me. Perhaps I can help you to remember. If we find out that you sold the car to the man we're looking for, you're looking at some pretty solid time inside, Jackie boy. You trying to scare me with your big talk? I never saw your damn car. Gonna take a walk. their blood here. On your head, pig. I ain't got time to be playing around with you. Let's just get you out of sight and finish you off. Tell me about the man with the blue car. Go fuck yourself in the ass. Uh, broke my fucking nose, pig. Next, I'm gonna blow a hole in your face. Spill all of it. You will scare me, Mr. CSI. You ain't got it in you. Last chance, Jack. Make it easy on yourself. What you gonna do? You ain't got them killer eyes, so what? You gonna cuff me? Damn! 
You out of your motherfucking mind, man? Oh, shit, Jack. Ain't nothing to it. Just a little bit of self-defense. Page one of the police manual. Kill or be killed. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Stop. Enough. I'm starting to remember some things. You, you be cool, and I'll tell you the tale. No, I don't know nothing about the guy. He wanted me to get rid of his dirty car, get him a new one with false plates. He paid cash, and I ain't the questioning kind. Said I was supposed to drop the word to a guy named Paco down at the Blue Lagoon when the car was done. Now that's all I know. We'll continue this discussion down at the station. You're under arrest. You have the right to remain silent. Anything... Anything you say can and will be. Hey, <laughs> you look like you got a problem, man. So, you think the origami killer killed Manfred? That makes sense. Didn't want him spilling his guts to us. And you suspect Gordy Kramer, right? Oh, him or one of his men. Gordy has the time and the means, not to mention the fucked up attitude to go along with it. He's only a suspect, but he's a pretty guilty looking one. Are these your files on the case? Yeah, I've been working on them for a couple of years. Uh, I built up a mountain of paperwork. Magazines about origami? You think the killer could have subscribed to one of those? If he was even remotely interested in origami in the last 30 years, his name may be in there somewhere. Trouble is, there's over 500 names. It gets a squat. I'm starving. Do you have anything to eat? Well, I'm no chef, but I should be able to make some scrambled eggs if you like. Great. I'm soaking wet. I need to warm up a little. Is it okay if I take a shower? I'll be my guest. Go in my bedroom. It's the next door. Oh, I'll cook up the eggs while you're under the shower. I should prep those scrambled eggs.
I took the liberty of borrowing your bathrobe. Looks better on you. I don't really like raw eggs. Maybe I should have told you. I'm sorry. I told you. I'm not a great chef. It's okay. What's that? The notebook I took from Manfred's place. According to this, about 30 clients bought spare parts for royal machines in the last 10 years. The killer may be one of them. Oh, you know, checking out the alibi of 30 clients one by one, that's a lot of legwork. Except that if we cross-check them with the list. The list of subscribers to Origami Magazines. You still got that, right? Yeah, yeah. Of but Lauren, wait. If the killer really used a royal typewriter, and if he subscribed to an Origami Magazine, his name should be on both lists. Well, Lauren... I mean, that's just an assumption, but yeah, I suppose. His name is here somewhere. Help me. We're going to find him. The only guy whose name was on both lists died when he was 10. What are you gonna do now? Dig up his coffin, make sure he's dead? I know it doesn't make any sense. Unless the killer was only using his name. But why use the name of a kid who died 30 years ago? Well, that's what we came to find out. The name is John Shepard. It should be on a grave around here somewhere. You never give up, do you? It's cold, it's raining, I'm standing outside getting soaked. Oh, how I love my job. <laughs> this girl knows her mind all right. No point in trying to reason with her. I should be investigating Gordy Kramer right about now. And here I am, standing in a cemetery, pouring rain, looking for the grave of a kid who's been dead for 30 years. Time to look for John Shepard's Excuse grave. Me. I'm looking for the grave of a young boy who died about 30 years ago. His name was John Shepard. I hate cemeteries. I know where it is by the The him. children's graves are in the next plot. Thanks. She's convinced she's onto something. And here's me, thinking we're wasting our friggin' time in this friggin' cemetery. Gotta hand it to her. That girl is one really determined chick. The sooner we find that grave, the sooner we can get the hell out of here.
Hey, Lauren! I found it! These flowers are fresh. Looks like someone's still tending the grave. Origami figures. That's one hell of a coincidence. Oh, youngin. That one I knew well. You knew John Shepard? I've worked this graveyard nearly all my life. I remember what happened. It was in 77. October, I think. Get cup for nothing, hoodlin! Get the hell out of here! God! Beat it! You lousy, no good brats! Come back when your fucking mother comes home from work! He's drunk again. What are we gonna do? It's pouring rain. We're gonna get soaked if we spend a day outside. Well, this won't get beat. Little rain never hurt nobody. Come on, let's go play. Bet you can't catch me! Being out in the rain is nothing compared to being in when he's like that. John's right. We can't just stand here all day. Might as well go and play. Mom won't be back from work till later. She wouldn't let him treat us like this. John is waiting to give me a boost. I better catch up. Construction site is empty. Makes for a great playground. I told you to watch your head. <laughs> you dumbass. Bitch can't do that. John is going too fast. He never waits for me. Jeez, you ain't nothing but a slowpoke. Come on, loser. What you doing? You're coming or not?
strange one down here. I can do it all right. Just you watch. It's as easy as pie. It's crazy! We could break our necks doing this. I am scared. If you can do it, I can do it. Do. 
turn gone, John. Uh, I'll get help. Just turn gone. Go on, hurry. I think the water's rising. I'm hurrying. I'll be right back. But the poor kid never did find any help. And his brother drowned in a pipe full of rainwater. The boy that lived, what happened to him? Well, all I know is he got separated from his parents. I, I think he got adopted. Well, looks like a storm's coming. I guess I better be getting home. Christ, what a horrible story. John Shepard drowned in the rain while holding his brother's hand. Do you think he... he could be the origami killer? Come on, let's get back in the car. The kid died 30 years ago. Who's still tending the grave after all these years? <laughs> there she goes again, surprising me. I don't usually like surprises. There's nothing else for us here. Let's go. Wait. What's the matter? That man over there. Yeah? He's Charles Kramer. Gordy's father? What's he doing here? He's putting flowers on John Shepard's grave. of Dr. Death, and I'd better watch my step. Paco Mendez, the guy the doc lent his apartment to. Not the kind of guy you take home to mom anytime soon. I'm gonna ask him a few questions. I have nothing against techno, trance, whatever music, but this stuff is really loud. School for the jet set. Not really. Still haven't gotten over my encounter with Dr. Death. Everything's gonna be alright. I find the guy, I ask a few questions, and then I get the hell out. Bartender. for select guests. Shouldn't be too hard to find. The bartender says Pat goes in the VIP lounge.
the VIP lounge. I think I saw it back near the restrooms by the entrance. VIP lounge. I think I saw it back near the restrooms by the entrance.
see up my performance. Oh, I need a good place to change. The restroom. It's private, girls only. It's that big red cube near the entrance. You're out of your pretty little mind, Madison. Time to play the sexy girl.